So I've done product films and photography for my clients actively for years now. Now I have this one brand that I work with almost on a day-to-day basis coming out with a new product. And I had to create something creative for their new product launch. Something different that I was used to. I thought it would be cool to create this film where this product would appear out of thin air, multiply, and then wrap itself into this box and then find its way to people's hands. So I was thinking different ways how I could create this project come alive and then it suddenly hit me. Stop motion animation. I think stop motion animations are super compelling and commercials I've seen them use this technique in are just mind blowing. Could stare at them for hours. I had played around with stop motion animation before. It's an animated filmmaking technique and super simple way of animating films. You can create stop motion animation with any type of camera as long as it takes individual photos. With that, you also need a tripod and a good set of lights. You should also have a script or a storyboard so you're familiar with the motion you're after. Even though in the film you can see tiny chocolate bar coming together and then it multiplies and then every, like every single bar goes to the box and the box closes and it's seamless, like it hasn't been opened yet. So that means I need to figure out the story beforehand because I'm doing everything in reverse. With my studio set up, I gradually started moving objects against my backdrop, taking photos at each date. Later, all these shots together create an illusion of continuous movement. What I'm trying to do here right now is I'm trying to hold this box like this. And I've been trying to use these burned out candles to hold out the box, but it's not really working out. So this bit is gonna be somewhat tricky, but we'll manage. It's stop motion, so as long as I figure out like how to hold it, we're golden. Creating a stop motion animation can be somewhat time consuming, but in the end, so worth it after you see your final product. <sighs> step by step. After I was finished with my shots, I quickly ran all the photos through Adobe Lightroom to give them an even color crate before importing my sequences to Premiere. Because I wanted the motion to be old cartoonist Looney Tunes like, I found that slowing down the speed worked amazing. Then I simply reversed the speed in the opening shot where I wanted that chocolate bar to appear from nowhere. With the last shot, I used masking and Photoshop to get rid of the objects that held the box in the air to make it look like it was floating. Because I knew my client would eventually use this film in their social media channels like Instagram, I thought it would be cool to mask out the last few frames in the last shot that would also reveal the beginning shot all over again. This way it works great as a loop and so is more captivating for the viewer. Stop motion animation goes way back to the early days of filmmaking and I think it should be used way, way more since it's a great way to tell compelling stories and show creativity. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and sub and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.